Hi, I'm Doug Baker, Director of Sales and Business Development here at Teledyne Hastings Instruments. And today, I'm going to tell you about the user software, our new user software for the Digital 300 line of mass flow meters and mass flow controllers. Uh, the software is free and you can download it from our website. You can get it from any of our applications engineers or from your local sales representative. So let's start by opening up the program. The software is Windows based, so the menus have an intuitive feel. The first window pops up and the first thing we need to do is to make a connection to the Digital 300 series flow instrument. Now we have our computer connected via a USB RS-232 converter to the Digital 300. The communication cable simply plugs into either of the RJ jacks located on the top of the unit. Next we verify the baud rate. The baud rate, either 9600 or 19.2K, is set by switch number one. One other thing to verify while we're looking at the switches. If we want to use the software to control the flow controller, then we need to have switch number three set for digital command. In other words, the flow controller is going to get the set point command through the digital port and not via an analog command signal. Okay, now we're going to open the connection window. And you see that my computer is connected on COM4. Click OK and we're connected. So now we see a window that shows the flow rate as well as the command set point. Note that if you're using a flow meter then the command set point is not used. Okay, let's open another window. The set point window allows us to change the digital command. The software is flexible. You can either push one of the buttons on the right or use the slider bar. So let me push that off to the side here. So you'll notice that when I click on the 50% full scale, the set point goes to 50% and the flow controller responds. Let's open up another window. The software gives the user a graph window so they can see the flow controller output in real time. As you can see, there are two lines. The blue line indicates the user's command signal the red line shows the measured flow signal. Now here's another cool thing that the software provides, the totalized flow signal. So to see that we're going to go under view, totalizer, and let me push that down here. What do we mean by totalizer? Well, if you think of a flow rate signal as a speedometer, then the totalized flow is like the odometer. It's a measurement of how much gas has gone into a process. So let me reset here and we see that when the flow controller is flowing, the totalizer counts up. And to reset the totalizer, we just have to click the reset button like that. Next, let's show how we do data logging. So to do data logging, we're going to go up here to this logging, and we're going to start log. And I'm just going to put the file right on the desktop. That'll make it easy. And you see that the first thing we have to do is select the log interval. We can use minutes, seconds, milliseconds. I'm just going to take a data point every second. But you can set this for many minutes and log data all night long if you want. All right, so let's get a few data points in there. It's collecting data every second. I'll go up. I'll go back down. Let's do that one more time. Okay. And we go stop the log here. So we go under logging and we're going to stop log. So remember we put the file on the desktop. There it is right there. So let's open it up. Take a quick look. All right. It gives a date stamp, time stamps. You see we get a data point every second. And it gives you the flow rate. Up at the top it says that the log interval was one second. So that's easy to do. One last thing to see is the command window. With this window, the user can access all the capability of the Digital 300 series. So we'll go under View, Command Window. Let me push that down here. And by typing in a simple text command, the user can set alarms, control multi-gas records, and observe other setup features of the flow instrument. And all the serial commands are given in the user manual. 
Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions about our digital flow products or any of our vacuum gauges, please email us or visit us at teledyne-hi.com. Thanks again.